This month, I'm heading to Las Vegas. Come party with me the 27th and 28th at Resorts World Theater. Grab your tickets at burpurpurt.com. All right. So you're no, one. Seriously, I need the money. Everybody right now, I'm not kidding around. I'm crazy. Hey, something's burning. Something's burning. Something's burning. Something's burning. You know what the recipe is? I do. Wow. I made it very Philly for you. Have you met no, Rachel? No. I this don't is Rachel. She might be a part of the episode. I figure Todd enjoys such interaction that why not just put a mic on everyone just in case? Right. This is the first episode we've ever done with one guest. Why one guest? Because Todd Glass is the perfect guest. But I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna do a good job. I'm not gonna be like over the top. Ah! <laughs> Come on, why not? Why wait to start? Rachel, just hang out in here because I don't really know you how know to what? make these. You don't think, you're, I know you're gonna read into this. I like to have six or seven drinks to loosen me up a little. Yeah, let's no, do it. I'm gonna be a good guest. I'm gonna be the best guest. Even people that don't like me are gonna go, you know what, you gotta admit, he was a good guest. <laughs> That's how hard I'm trying today. What's the silliest thing you did? My, my favorite silly thing you ever did was one time, you got, one time you got high with Gary Goldman and you were like, my apartment's not that nice, but if you pretend it's in an airplane, it's really nice. <laughs> silliest thing, uh, I jumped up and down on my bed about a week ago. People were over and I just said, I wanna jump, like, when's the last time I jumped <laughs> yeah. up and down on the bed? My parents had these friends uh, when we were growing up, Linda and Stanley, they live right next door to us. Yeah. And I remember thinking, I wanna be like Stanley. Like when he would ever come over the house, he'd be fun with us and oh, yes. he'd be jumping up and down on the bed. I'm like, when I'm old, like those guys were, I wanna be like them. They, I found out at that age, were 29. And oh my I God, was they're thinking, children. when they're old like yeah, that. when I'm old like that. When I'm old like that. Stuff like that Little, makes me giggle so hard. I you love gotta it. giggle, right? Um, my dad never giggled. Like, okay. my dad just started uh, eating marijuana with Joey Diaz. Whenever we have like Christmas or uh, like a vacation, Joey Diaz comes over and he brings edibles and he gives them to my dad. And my dad loosens up and he has a great time. One time he slipped edibles to my dad, uh, popcorn. I was like, well, I'll take it with you. We both eat marijuana. We're sitting outside, six o'clock, sun setting, having cigars and a whiskey, and I'm so high, I just go, why don't you like me? And he goes, you not, doesn't stop, he goes, you remind me of my dad, and I lost my dad when I was a kid, and I'm afraid to get close to you. And I was and like- your dad said that? And we're high, and I go, I go, how can we fix it? And he goes, I want you to have a cardiologist. I went, what? He goes, I want, I want to pick the cardiologist, and I want to tell him what tests I want on you, I don't want to lose you. And I went, okay. And he goes, that's it? I go, yeah, fix our relationship. Wow, Dude, you, right? can I tell you something? Yeah. I've said really kind things about my mom, but sometimes dealing with stress with, with her and she has problems and I sort of become the middleman, which I'm fine with, you know, but sometimes it makes, you know, it, calling her stressful. Yeah. But oh, about a year ago, I started smoking pot and calling her. It happened by accident. I picked up the phone, hi. And then I ended up, my mom's really funny. It's not like because I'm high, it makes her interesting. Yeah. She's already interesting, but I think it made me different. We were laughing so hard and then, <laughs> I mean, giggling on the phone, and then at the end she goes, we, I started saying I love you about like, I thought I don't say I love you to my mom, but I love her, so about six months ago, I made a joke with her on the phone, I go, she goes, well, I say it to Spencer, I say it to Michael, we just don't say it. So we started saying I love you, and then for about three months we did it, and that night on the phone when I was high, she goes, can I, can I tell you something? I know you love me. And it's not that I don't think we should say we love you, but what we have is better than that. And I'm like, there, I'm high. I go, there's that smart mom I know, <laughs> right? Because I would have never said that high. And then she goes, well, we have, we have is better than that. And she goes, it's uncomfortable when we say it now. I go, she goes, I'm already saying it, and so are you. I go, mom, you're, you're so right. I can't believe you said it. So we went to hang up. I go, all right, well, I don't know what to say now. I go, well, go f yourself. I'm high. She goes, she goes, go yourself and we laughed so hard yeah I mean I hung up the phone and then I did it uh, four nights ago I talked to my mom hi and it was a great call so maybe <laughs> you know I'm the only cooking show by the way that brings up the piece of paper and goes the ingredients are can I give two quick food tips before you start cooking please okay you want to make like you're not a good cook but you want to present it nice just go buy Stouffer's lasagna. They know what they're doing. That's why it's Stouffer's. And uh, go buy the best cheese you can. Like, go to a cheese shop. Go out of your way or get really good cheese. And then put it on top, rebake it. Presentation is everything. If Presentation somebody, is everything. If somebody takes something and represents it nicer, uh, then, you know, I'm like, you know. What's, your, what's you, tell, this is my favorite Todd Glass recipe. What's the cake with the ice cream? Well, ice cream cake. You know, everybody wants it, but it's not really that good every time you get it. It's like the cake isn't great. The cake's, you know, they probably have a pound cake at the bakery they make. They slip it in there. They slab ice cream all over it. But you never get to the cake and go, oh, God. So I just started buying, like, you know those cinnamon cakes 
at this, at like the supermarket, they sell yeah. cinnamon swirl. Yeah. They're like a round cake. You could do it with any cake, but I got those. They're really crazy moist, and then cut it long ways. Not side, like this, you cut it long ways. Yeah. Cut it in half, then take the top off, and then take ice cream, put it in the microwave for like 25 seconds, and then it just goes on like icing, but it's ice cream. Put the top back on, put it in the freezer, and it's like, it's the best ice cream cake you ever had. Whatever type you like, just cut it long ways, put ice cream put on it, put it back in, in the, the freezer. freezer. I've done this. Put it back in the freezer. I've done it, you look like a pro. By the way, because you're from Philly, I wanted to let you know, we had, do you know what these are? Tasty cakes, I noticed them. This is crazy that these are even here. First thing I got my driver's license is, I always liked these because of the whipped cream in them, but I thought they could use more. So the first time my parents go, you can take the car. I took the car went up to the supermarket, and I got a can of whipped cream. I got two of these, there were three in each one. And I sprayed whipped cream on each one. I was like, mmm, oh. Mm. I gotta try one. Being independent. <laughs> There's no way this is good for you. Of course not, who's got it was? Oh. <laughs> Rachel, come on in, get the in Rachel, here. Rachel, don't be shy. What's the matter, you don't like hanging out? <laughs> I think I gotta do this with my hands, right? Yeah, it's better really? to get in there. Really, is yeah. it? Yeah, I it's hard to mix up. This show is sponsored by DraftKings. Noche UFC is going down in Las Vegas this weekend, and I'm so pumped to see who comes out on top. I've partnered up with DraftKings, and they have an offer that's perfect if you're looking to get closer to the action. Right now, all new customers who bet $5 will instantly get $250 in bonus bets. Instantly, $250 in bonus bets. That's a no-brainer. All you got to do, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and sign up using my promo code BURNING. The crown is yours. That's $250 in bonus bets instantly after betting just $5. You stay in on all the action and use your $250 in bonus bets on DraftKings. Same game parlays for a shot at even bigger payouts. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy and have a shot to win cash prizes. You're not going to want to miss out on this. is going to be an epic night, an epic night in the desert. All you got to do, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers, use my promo code BURNING and bet just $5 on any wager and get $250 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code BURNING only at DraftKings Sportsbook. The crown is yours. Rachel, yeah. who's your favorite comedian? You guys. No, 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 no like for real, say, for real, for real, for real. No, you guys. No, who's no, your favorite stop. comedian? Stand up, like besides. Yeah, I yes. really like Nate Bargatze. Oh, really? I love Nate Bargatze. He's great, anti-Semitic, but Is very, really? oh, yeah, very. Yeah. yeah, I saw him yeah. kick a puppy once at the mall. And yeah. I, why would you do that? <laughs> I know. And he bought the puppy at the mall to kick it. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? No, that's Rachel, rude. get in. And these are true stories. Tweeted him. Rachel, you must tweet at Nate Bargatze and tell him yeah. that he cannot do that. That is not right. <laughs> Somebody smells good. It's me. <laughs> okay. Oh. So Are you having a cocktail? Wow. That's what I'm talking about. Rich, jump I on in. Some more. Thank you. Uh, by the way, this dough's coming together fantastic. Yeah, that great. Oh my God, that is, that is, did you explain anything? Are people watching supposed to go, well, no. oh, how could I do that? They're only here because of you. Wow. Yeah, they don't really care about the food at no. all. Let's do, you know, let's. You know, let's let's give them something. Well, we gave them already the ice cream cake idea. Yeah. And the lasagna. I think for people that don't like to cook, but they like presentation, meatloafs at Vaughn's or any supermarket wherever you live, meatloafs at Vaughn's or roasted chicken. I'm not saying if you know how to cook, yeah. that you could roast a better chicken than them. Then you should do that. But uh, can you roast a better chicken than Vaughn's? Then buy it, it's a supermarket. That's what they do every day. They roast, they get it perfect. Yeah. And by the way, those two, those chickens are $10 for a chicken. Yeah. And to buy an uncooked uh, uncooked chicken, $10 a chicken. Right. And you're so, paying right. for nothing. Now, you're, hey, yeah. Unless you're a good cook, then I, then I will, I well, get you it. Love, you got a rotisserie, you, you got a it. new grill. Yeah, so I would buy the meatloafs, turkey meatloafs at Vaughn's, put what? like four of them on a, on a cookie tray, same thing, I would just get really good cheese, sprinkle it all over them, put them back in the oven, bake them. I, I tell everybody, but they don't, I go, I, I can't lie, because one sprinkle, time I lied. Sprinkle, uh, or a little oregano, maybe, oh, whatever, so anything. you make it yours. Oh, that's genius. Yeah, you just, they catch up, but they go, what the f is this? And I'm like, I got them at Vaughn's, and I sprinkled some good cheese on the top, and I rebaked them. <laughs> when you have a cheesesteak in Philly, where do you go, Pat's or Gino's? I prefer Gino's, but, but here's, Me too. Here, here's a compliment. To, to Pat's. If Gino's was closed for some reason, this is why I don't want to be one of those people, oh, Pat's. If Gino's was closed and I went to Pat's and I got a cheesesteak, it's great. 
People go, oh, Pat's is horrible. Oh, like if you were hungry and someone put a Pat's cheese steak in front of you on a plate, you go, I can't even get it down. <laughs> it's that, oh, shut up. You prefer one, yes, and I'm okay with that, but don't act like the other one is so bad. So I'll eat either. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I like that he washes his hands. It's with all the silliness, <laughs> let's have some civility. Roasted then he vomits pork. into his, his sleeve. <laughs> so what do you make? Oh, you're making pierogies. Yeah, right now, I'm chopping up the onions more so they cook faster. And my just eyes just... are on fire. I keep having this thing, you know, like where I want to take this onions and go, ah, you know, like, <laughs> just to be stupid. Um, I see why it's a Philadelphia pierogi now, because we got some really nice, slicely thinned, Meat. It looks beautiful, by the way. In all God, fairness, right? this is the part before the, and I know it's the show, you don't care, but if this should have been cut, brought out on a plate, you know? Oh, so, yeah. You know. As opposed, anyway, <laughs> look as opposed it, to Vaughn's. Like, like, like it matters. Um, wow, Vaughn. this looks so, I can't wait to eat. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Sometimes on shows I wonder, like, are they really eating? I bet they are, because they're like me. No one eats, because I, I didn't want to feel stuffed when I got here. Oh. So I'm starving. I did a show in Sacramento one time, and the guys cooks it up, it's a morning show, and then he slices up the pork, and he plates it out. He's like, I hope you guys enjoy it. And so I pop in, I start eating. I'm like, this is great. And I was like, I didn't know you could do pork rare. And he was like, oh, we can't. Spit it out, spit it out. So I'm like, ah! That's going to be so good. So let's do this game. Wow. Imagine you're a, a gazillionaire, and you tell, your you tell your servant, go get me the perfect meal. I want a $6 burger from Carl's Jr., mm -hmm. fries from McDonald's, a Frosty from Wendy's. Yes. Yeah, Frosty you definitely from Wendy's. Like vanilla or chocolate? Either chocolate, one's great. chocolate, chocolate. I get mixed. Mixed? Yeah, but it's all right. We're all good. And then I'd say a Mexican pizza from, from uh, with, with the really, really hot sauce from Taco Bell. Wow, that would be your dessert? Oh, no, that would just be like an appetizer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking fat to the next level. Can I tell you mine? Yes. McDonald's fries, I always go back to them. You know, yeah, I, McDonald's I, fries other, are the best. There's other fries that are great. I want to try, Taco Bell's got new fries. I'd like to try those fries. So I would go a hamburger at Wendy's. Yeah. Then I take that hamburger from Wendy's, egg McMuffin at McDonald's, and I take the egg McMuffin and oh, put it yes. on the Wendy's hamburger. But I'd be happy with a quarter pounder with an egg McMuffin in it. Here's what I would do for dessert. So I have, I have this theory, and that's why I said presentation's everything. If somebody charges more for something and it's because of the way they present it, yeah, that's, there's value to that. Yeah. So I said, if you got a Papa John's cinnamon, you know, they basically take the dough and they put some butter on it and then they put yeah. some cinnamon and then they put the vanilla icing all over the top. Get triple vanilla icing. If you're nice, they'll do it. If you took that and put it on a chopping block in France, yeah, they'd yeah. all go, shut the up, they'd be eating it going, are you kidding me? This is so great. And guess what? Same with Domino's Pizza. You take that, put it on a chopping block, sprinkle some stuff on it, you bring it out to people when it's piping hot. Oh, they're gonna go, oh, dude. Oh. Look, there's a reason they're Domino's. Why don't you give us an ad sponsor? That's a great ad right there, and it's from my heart, Domino's. Why don't you think, think outside the box? All right, so you're no, one. seriously, I need the money. Everybody right now, I'm not kidding around, I'm crazy. <laughs> I am nuts. No one knew it. You should have all known it. It's always funny to hold a knife to someone's neck on TV. I played this game with uh, with someone the other day. Can I, I forget who it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that yeah. wrong? No. So I played this game with someone the other day, and I'm going to play it with you. I think you'll have fun with it. You ready? Mm -hmm. The game is do a comedian's act without using words, just what they sound like, <laughs> and try to guess what comedian it is. I already know who I want to do. Here we go. You ready? Oh, this is great. You ready? Okay. Me? Eh, 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 eh. Norm McDonald. No, 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 no. Eh, 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 David Tell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready, ready? <laughs> Never got it. Yeah. <laughs> I have one. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> no, you're not making any noises. You gotta make the oh, noise. Oh, I can make noise. You know, you sit in there, go like that, you know? No, no, no. You gotta just do the sound of what they sound oh, like. Oh, the sound of what they sound like. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Oh, by the way, it was Brian Regan. <laughs> like, yeah, okay, okay, okay. This is, I'll do Brian Regan for you, okay? Yeah. Hold it's on hard. One give, me, give me a second to work it out. One second. Hold on. Hi, everybody. This is the way I planned it. Welcome back to Cooking with Todd. Each week, we'll try to tell you recipes for people who really can't cook. Everyone goes, oh, this is an easy recipe. But then you're like, it's not that easy. We'll give you the easy recipe. <laughs> you had to go over there? Yeah, yeah, I had to get into it. I had to do 
one of his bits in my head. All right, now we're gonna take the cheese. We're gonna put the. I didn't beef. want to tell you I bought you this. Oh. I knew you liked strainers. Oh. <laughs> I said I wanted a personal trainer. Oh, you know what? I have a. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was actually a good one. Rachel, how wow. are we doing with drinks? Thank you so much, Todd. Oh, I was sweating. Right, I knew. <laughs> I'm trying not to overstuff these, and I think I'm already there. That's good not to overstuff it, because I don't like when places go, our sandwiches are so big. Yeah. Like, that's not a good selling point. Yeah. I don't want a sandwich that's too big. You're I eating. want perfectly proportioned. What about right there? You think you could have fit another one? I probably could have. I just got a little not lazy. Not the micromanage. By the way, I, normally we make these, and I go to the dough that's already been made, but this dough looked so good, I was like, I'm going to try to use my I'm own dough. Before? No, You're no. pretty good at doing stuff and talking. I'm with my wife. We're at Buffalo Wild Wings. It's just me and her. Wow. And I thought, I thought. Big night out? And I thought, I and I do, swear to God, no, but I thought, I, could do better I wonder if there's a kid here tonight who this is his idea of a big date. He loves Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. I'm going to take my wife there, my girl there, first date. And I couldn't stop laughing at the idea of a 16-year-old on his first date, not knowing how women and, and relationships okay. worked, and the lady comes up, and all he knows is what he's seen in movies. He's like, I'll be ordering for the both of us. <laughs> uh, we'll be doing the Buffalo Wild Wings challenge. <laughs> 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 the idea that a boy would, that's a boy thought. I've never been to a Buffalo Wild Wings. I've been kicked out of two of them. What? How yeah. did you do that? What? what, what? Uh, they were both in Utah, and one was for taking my shirt off, and one was for uh, standing, oddly enough. <laughs> would, I, would, I, would, it, would it be fair to say you were wrong both times? Wait, we have Cheese Whiz? Oh, yeah. These are going to be good. I know, of course they oh, are. Oh, yes. I'm impressed that you, you're doing a nice job. Oh, this is, these are going to be really good. Part of it's just acting like you do it every day, I think. I think so. I, like, I look at, well, maybe I look not. at all the cookies. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, maybe not. So is this like boiling bagels? Boiling, bo yeah, 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 exactly. And the boil, and then we sear them. Boiling bagels. It's, it was my first country hit. <laughs> all right. I'm dropping them in. Are we ready? Wow, I could make something with this. Yeah, do a big one. Wow, that's going to be a stromboli, I guess. Are Some we getting of these this? Are... Is there a camera that... If oh, yeah, yeah, Real yeah. cooking show. Oh, <laughs> shut the... I never saw that one. Here, we should probably put some cheese in there, right? Yes. I think this thing's going to be great. That's so funny. All I this hope time, so because my hair better look good. I'm these are, the uh, these, the are, like these are on the fence. No. We're making the ultimate Philly pierogi. Hey, will you, throw some, will you sprinkle some powder over here? Hey, that sounds like a party at uh, <laughs> blah, 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 fill in the blanks house. This might be the first episode I've ever done where we can't eat the food. So we can get a shot of this. Yeah. It's right there. Okay, look at this. Now we're gonna take all this ground beef. Let's let them cook a little longer, but off the heat. I think okay. that's a good idea. And let me turn that one over. Yeah, I think if they stay there for like three minutes, they'll be nice. Oh, this one's gonna be good, Todd. I think mm. you're gonna really like what I get you into. <laughs> where's the Where's the flipper thing? Flip it over. Yeah, yeah. Where's the flipper thing? No, 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 no. The oh, big spoon. Thing. The big okay. spoon. Did I throw it out? I can't have people over and do stuff. You know, Doesn't some people can carve bubble? a turkey. As people are coming over the house, they're like, oh, how you doing? Good to see you. I haven't seen you in a year. I can't carve a turkey. Well, people are coming over because they get nervous and I start sweating. So people see you sweating over your carving a turkey. They don't want to eat it. That's the whole show I just did. You might have gotten a little sweat in there, but you know what? I'm that hungry. Whoa. I can't oh, believe These that. look good, by the way. Wow. Do you have any seasoning so we can, like, you know, like really make the final one look nice? Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, Watch oh. this. Hold on. We'll be like one of those shows. <laughs> we are one of those shows. By the way, Todd, what I need you to be is totally honest when you taste it and tell I me if it's be. good at all. I will be. See, you got that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, we're going to. Hold on. Don't go anywhere, everybody. <laughs> there we go. You ever see this? Someone walk down the stairs. Doesn't it look real? I'm on a, I'm on a <laughs> moving sidewalk. <laughs> Doesn't it look like it's a moving sidewalk? Watch this. I'm on a moving sidewalk. You'd never be able to tell. <laughs> Wow, I think I did a good job of I think fixing that, this corner up. If we could title this episode, I'd call it Presentation is Everything. That looks phenomenal. It looks phenomenal. amazing, yeah. Here, let's get this dirt yes. bag out of the way. Thank you. Move it all over there. Now you need that there. Hold on. Now, look at this. Oh, hold on. Now I got to <laughs> clean up. By the way, I thought we weren't going to be able to eat any of this shit. No. We're eating all of it. 
Yeah. I need another cocktail. Let's do a shot. That's how I clean in my house. I, I'm no. so I'm not even hot. I brought shorts with I'm me and flip flops. Sweating profusely. I brought shorts and flip flops because I was so afraid I'd be hot. I wanted to walk over there and put shorts and flip flops on. I run hot though. <laughs> Here we go, guys. This has been Here we a go fucking up. blast. Hey, dear Lord, please protect us from your followers. <laughs> 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 That's a prayer that makes everybody happy. Wow. Okay, I think this guy is browned on this side. Can you flip it? You want to flip it, flip it? Flip it, flip it. What? Oh, nice. That's crazy that that thing turned out. That seriously is crazy. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't give up on it, because I <laughs> wanted to. Do you think it's OK if we eat one of these while we're waiting and just talk about it? Yeah, you want to try it? Mm -hmm. oh, here we go. Here we go. Can you hold that bowl? Oh, it's hot as shit, Rachel. They look good. Cheese Whiz pierogies. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, 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 look at the cheese. I'm going to dip it in here. It's I don't know. I don't know. You know what? It's, they're, oh, they're, it's they're, 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 they're moist and crispy, which to me, you know, look, Cheese Whiz is Americana, but I almost think it might be a little overpowering. I am so excited for this big <laughs> Man, that is. Where's the mozzarella? Let's sprinkle the mozzarella in there. No, you know what? Don't overthink it. If you went to a restaurant. Ooh, what about a drizzle <laughs> of cheese whiz? Like, za, 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 oh, yeah, za, yeah, yeah. za. Hold on. Is it too thick? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Water it down, water it down, water it down. Yeah, I don't want to do Here, it. Do this, watch this, watch but this. Ready? This is really good, actually. Not just good, but very good. Watch this. Maybe just. Oh. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> no, don't ruin it. No, I got it, I got it. No, you don't. No, I got it. I got no, that it. I got looks it. I got horrible. It. I, got it. I got it. Hold on, Todd, Todd, Todd. Wait, wait, wait for it. <laughs> that was my first country hit. Uh, can I tell you a secret? Yeah, One time right, when right. I was at Florida State, there was a, a country band called Brooks and Dunn. Of course. And uh, there was also a football player named Warwick, Warwick Dunn and Derek Brooks. And I sold out the counter and I thought, oh, the football players must put out a hip hop album. So I bought it, and then I put it in my car, and I tried my hardest to like it, thinking, two black guys doing really good country. Like, I should really be into it. And I, I think everybody has something like hey, you that. Ready? Where you ready? Wow, I, I, and I want to apologize for um, when I thought you didn't get it. Wow. Oh, doesn't that look good? Hey, folks, shut the f up, right? Sorry for cursing. <laughs> I, know, I know a lot of families listen to the show, but... Sometimes it's like something's like crazy good. Like who thought with all that was going on today that we'd have something like that? Wait till we cut into that. It's gonna be unbelievable. Oh. And these, ridiculous. We wanna get a look inside that. Oh. There we go. Look at that, look what? at that, look at that. Are what? you seeing oh. that? Oh, you doubted us? Oh, oh we, we, you're lucky we don't find out where you live. We come over to your house <laughs> and we uh, make you eat it. Look at it! I'm sick of everybody not looking at it. <laughs> We're, we never grow up. That, that part of us as a kid, mom, 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 look, look, look. That's, that just happens till you die. Hold on, I have an idea. Uh, Watch this. And I'm not. Oh. That's hot, too. It's yeah. good. Here we go. You ready? <laughs> oh, wow. Right? Put oh, wow. Whiz on right. It. You watch your mouth. <laughs> I told you she would get everybody in trouble. Rachel, where did you grow up? In Long Beach. God, she talks so much. Oh, <laughs> oh fucking Shut up show. Long Beach. I'm from Long Beach. <laughs> Let me, we're having a conversation over here. This is her. Uh, pardon me. I, I know you guys are talking, but I, I just wanted to mention I'm from Long Beach. Uh, Todd! Todd, I'm from Long Beach. I mean, come with there's a proper time to tell you where you're from. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Would you serve this at one of your dinner parties? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. That was a Have you been group. to one of Todd's dinner parties? Have you? No. Can you walk everyone through what a dinner party at your house is like? Well, it's not really the dinner because I, I, I mostly I'll just have like people over. Yeah. And I have things to eat. Because people, here's the thing I learned a long time ago. A friend of mine told me he's in the restaurant business. Yeah. Don't overfeed people because guess what? They'll leave. So. Ooh, that's brilliant. That's really good yeah. advice. Yeah, because one time we had a party for my mom, but there was food out they had for everybody. And he started pulling it. And I said, I think people are still hungry. He goes, you want them hungry. You just don't want them starved. And that's what people do a lot of times when they have people over their house. They have so many. So we had apps. it happen three yeah. years ago yeah, at yeah. Thanksgiving. By the time the food went out and everybody noticed it, people weren't really devouring the food. So it's okay. You don't want people starved. That's not a good party, but it's okay if they're hungry. So at one time, pull things. Pull them. Pull, pull them. 
Pull That's them away. Great. Pull them away. You know, especially if you don't have any money, if you're broke and you want to have people over, you know what? It just all This might be the most important thing I've ever put on this show ever. It's all about presentation. It's all about presentation. Like grilled cheese sandwiches are so cheap, but you can pre-make them, you know, butter the bread, put the cheese on, wrap them in tin foil and put them in a basket. Yeah. People come over your house, you have the flat iron already out. They're already buttered. Yeah. And it's not open it up and butter it, build it. No, open up the tin foil, there it is. It's all made with butter on it, the cheese inside. Start throwing them on the grill. Grilled cheese, everyone loves grilled cheese sandwiches. Everyone loves grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> 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 I'm kidding. I started to scare everybody. Like, is he really that messed up? So wait. So now talk about talk about jackets. I started to buy. I told people coming over my house one night. I go, you got to wear a blue blazer. So everybody went to the thrift store and bought a blue blazer. What, ten bucks? You know, five yeah. bucks. So then, but they all left them. So then I have like now 45 blue blazers. Yep. In, my in every size. In every size. And I think about it like every size. I want everyone to be comfortable, not in a tight blue blazer. So when people come over the house a lot, I go, oh, I'm sorry, it's blue blazer only. <laughs> Let me see. And then they go over and I go, there's some over there. They find one that fits. Yeah. But the pictures look great because even if people are wearing t-shirts and shorts, everyone's, everyone's a wearing a blue blazer. Yeah. And it makes it look like a, you know, like a fun event. Like that was something. You and my, know and the thing silly dancing, right? No. Tell me about silly dancing. So I, I don't know why we started calling it silly dancing, but everybody likes to. Like, I say I don't like to dance because I'm uncomfortable. But I have this thing called silly dancing. One time it started, Eddie Pepitone was over, and I said, hey, you're the, you're, you know, he'll do any bit you give him. Yeah. I said, you're, it's your party, but if you see people trying to dance cool, you, you say, shut the music, you just get angry. Yeah. You know, you're not the DJ, you're the, so everyone was dancing, having a good time, Eddie goes, shut the music off! <laughs> shut it off, I thought we were gonna be silly dancing. You two over there trying that cool, look, like, that's not silly. <laughs> if you were silly, you'd be putting your nose on your head, not caring what you look like. But guess what, even though it was a bit, when we put the music back on, he goes, if I see one person, Blake, oh. Blake Wexler, he goes, good idea. I like what you were doing, carrying a tray around. That's silly. Not, oh, we're cool, we know how to actually dance. Yeah. That <laughs> shit. <laughs> Turn the music back on. It did make everybody just do it. So everybody was just silly dancing. No one cared. If it meant you want, I go, if you want a head dance, you sit over there and you head dance. And that's you just sit in a chair and you dance with your head but do something. And we go, wow, that was like a crazy fun night. If I throw a party, like sometimes I'll just say to my girl, I'll go and surprise my girls and I'll get the big three-story bouncy house with the slide. And then I'll go call your friends. The slide's coming over here oh. at 10. And then they light up. They're like, we got a slide. It's like 200 bucks. 200 bucks for a big slide in the front yard. The kids are exhausted by the end of the and day. They love it. All the parents come over, have cocktails. You have fun in the back, smoke cigars, maybe a joint. All the kids are in the front doing the slide. I and wanna do this live. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, there are few people I would ever do this show with where it's just me and him and Rachel. <laughs> Rachel, if you could do one thing with Todd, what would it be? Oh no, I it's, fantasize about going to a Todd Glass party. It's <laughs> everything you think it's gonna be. His 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 barn out back, the garage. Why don't you bring do the podcast and then bring Rachel? Rachel, you right? Come? Yeah. Yeah. What if I got it wrong? You're like it's <laughs> Diane, you dumb. <laughs> All right. All right, we should wrap this up. I'm gonna murder this drink. We'll get Ubers, we'll go home, we're grown ups. Todd, I'm being dead serious. Man. Seriously, that was pure joy. I love you, brother. That I was, really do that love was, you. That was man. great. That was You're cool. one of the greatest guys and in this the, business. And it ended up being good food, uh, right? Yeah. It was great. Surprisingly good. That was so much fun. Yeah. That was like a treat. I feel like the rest of the night I can just go home and just, you know, enjoy life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need an outro. Todd, do you have a good outro? Sure, we do the song we do every week. Thank you for stopping by. We hope you had some fun. Goodbye, Goodbye everybody. everybody. Rave, Rachel, wave. Wave, <laughs> God damn it! Find some public domain music and crank it in now. Oh, when, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints come marching in. This episode was brought to you by The Machine.